The Beaufort County Public Library here on the island is closed. Barbara Catanese of the Heritage Library joining us. You guys are not open kind of from a physical standpoint, and yet from a contact standpoint, you still are. Tell us about it. We are. We still have online resources, Facebook, our website, lots of ways that folks can get involved in local history and ancestry research. They just need to use the internet and a device. While we are all kind of semi-quarantined, uh, this would seem to be a wonderful time for families to start to do that research. Absolutely. This is kind of the perfect time to sit down with your children yeah. and start looking at your family history, create that family tree, use the opportunity to really connect with family that may not be here in the immediate area. We all have a tendency to get a little isolated when we're shuttered in, but this is a great time to use technology and talk to one another and really build out that family tree, including family stories that go with I was gonna say generationally, yeah. Have, have, what you, you were suggesting before we came on, that uh, young people, Call your grandparents, great parent, grandparents, those who are maybe a little extra isolated right now, right. And, and get them to tell stories. Absolutely. This is the time when you really get a chance to talk. It's kind of, you know, we all talk at Christmas time and Thanksgiving when we get together holidays. Start making those holiday times using technology and talking through your family history. Now, what this kind of research tools and teaching tools do you have online accessible? Online, we've got lots of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the things that's going to happen on the Facebook page starting this week is twice a week we're going to start to post tips and techniques for doing your ancestry research, okay. but also some free websites and how to use those websites. We also have a great treasure trove mm -hmm. of local island history on our website. So you can look at the island during the Civil War. We've just posted a new research project on reconstruction on Hilton Head. Oh. You can take a, we have a great chronology of, uh -huh. or timeline of Hilton Head history. So you can take that timeline and take a trip out, okay, not to, you know, right. not in large groups, right. but pic take pictures of the things that fit into the chronology of Hilton Head and then come back and make your storyboard with your kids and use it as an educational research. Lots of research on the history of our churches. So that history research on our churches also gives you a cultural look at what's gone on on Hilton Head and why we okay. are where we are and who we are today. And for our high schoolers, a, a wonderful project you've just uh, been reading about. Right, I just read about this project yeah. this morning and it just made perfect sense because we have lots of things that we can do with younger students, but this is the perfect time for high school students to read The Greatest Generation and then use the technology that they know so well to literally create, create networks that define how they're going to become the next greatest generation. That's fantastic stuff. Good deal. Barbara Catanese of the Heritage Library. We're going to try some, to find some more things for you to do across the break. Oh, what, what, one quick thing before sure. we go. The website. The website, www.heritagelib.org. We'll be back right after this.